my dear students this is professor dr satish polshettiwar from mit world peace university school of pharmacy pune india today i am going to talk on very important topic that is clinical data management system that is commonly called as cdm a cdms a process overview and regulatory perspectives okay let's begin with this topic so outline after this session you will able to understand what is the cdms how it work then overview of clinical data management system then process flow of data management activities then activity to be activities to be performed during the course of clinical trials then analysis and reporting process overview then we'll discuss about different software which are being used in this cdm process then role and responsibility of all the personnel involved in cdm the other thing that you are going to discuss in today's session next i have taken the initiative to introduce this topic cdm because all of you all of you know pharmacist recruitment are being done in this particular portfolio that is called a cdm another is pv pharmacovigilance and medical coding so these are the non allied branch okay where the pharmacists are getting recruited so we must aware about this kind of field what is cdm what is pv what is medical coding so today's lecture will discuss about a cdm process the pharmaceutical organizations are looking to optimize their process with cloud based application okay we need to understand what is cloud based application we, we have a database so that database need to be protected properly we have to maintain it in secure format so as and when required we can use that for further process the industry must optimize this clinical development and reduce their data entry process while reducing their drug time to market and we can they can reduce the data integrity okay so now industry want to uh, launch the product into market within specified period so they cannot wait for 5 6 years for the data entry and clinical trial okay so they have to optimize they have to uh, make the system more flexible and more transparent so for that they mostly use this cdm process conventional and rigid process model along with the cost pressure are the forcing the industry to look beyond available tools and models in the electronic data capture for market rising research expenditure regional demand and evolving local regulatory environments we have different regulatory environments are there regulatory bodies are there in india we follow the dcga and fda if you go to australia they follow therapeutic good benefit uh, uh, we call it as tga okay uh, then mhra uk follow usa follow usfda okay there are the different regulatory guidelines are there regulatory body are there we have to send the data to them so they want a very we call it transparent data okay because they have to you have to comply with this all these things okay so you can get the approval very fast the most solutions are unable to integrate all the activities and are not adaptable enough to address constantly evolving regulatory requirement further this platform come to come with high acquisition and maintenance cost and long gestation periods that's why you have to always uh, you should have a higher scrutiny regarding safety are causing an upsurge in regional trials observational studies and post launch studies you always comply and you have to make a transparent system that could be beneficial to all these uh, cro's okay So what is clinical trial? You must know the background about clinical trials. You understood clinical trial are being conducted for safety, efficacy of the drugs. Okay, because uh, this this is the way of administration to help to improve public health. We cannot uh, launch any uh, we call as unsafe drug to the market. Okay, you have to uh, first ensure the product is safe and efficacy. It has efficacy. So that's why we perform the clinical trial. It is made up of four uh, phases. One is phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase 4 so phase 3 is most stringent and more complex where we explore the safety effectiveness of the your product compared to currently available treatments on a large number of patient on a large number of population more than 3000 5000 uh, patient you have to take a trials and you have to conduct the trials and you have to collect the data the huge data is coming generated the data so that data need to be collected properly managed properly and analyzed properly and you have to submit to regulatory agencies so this is a very complex process for that we need to use certain uh, tools that tools we call as uh, nothing but the uh, cdm process that is clinical data management system so what is clinical data management a uh, cdm a uh, clinical data management cdm is a critical process in clinical research which lead to generation of high quality reliable and statistically sound data from clinical trial okay, this process ensure that whatever data we are collecting uh, getting from this data management tools are always a transparent always a scalable we call always it has a compliance with the regulatory guidelines okay because clinical data management system ensure collection integration and availability of data at appropriate quality and cost because review and approve of new drug by regulatory agencies like mhra tga we have usfda we have fda is dependent on integrity of clinical trial data which is the core purpose of the cdm that is called as clinical data management what is the objective of cdm the objective is a data collection 
in the form of paper, electronic format, yeah, remote data capture. The next objective is data integration. They have to integrate all the data because you are getting the data in unstructured form, a raw form, a traditional manner. Okay, you have to manage it properly. So for that, we use different tools, uh, electronic tools we use. You have to integrate all these things. Okay, you have to ensure the consistency and correctness. Then you have to validate this system and data. Okay, for that we use various software, UAT, quality control managers are there, programming, we use SAS programmer, we use, they analyze and they, uh, we call as a statistical analysis system, okay, via edit check program or via manual review. So you have to review the data after that and that then you can uh, submit to the regulatory agency. So they are the objective of this CDM. So what are the, we call as the, it is interface, clinical data management is covered or connected through various uh, vacancy models. Okay, they have to connect with the audit trials, traceability, it has a secure data exchange, uh, they have to integrate the data properly, they have to manage the discrepancy, data access and profiling, metadata driver and CRF and ECRF, that is we call as case report file. It, nowadays it is in ECRF, you have to handle both the things. So the clinical data management cover entire things. Okay, they have to do lot of uh, we call as uh, work. Okay, and they have to manage it properly, they have to synchronize all the data. Okay, and they have to submit to the final approval. So what is cloud-based clinical data management? It's a platform for end-to-end -end ADC need. Okay, uh, you all of you know whatever data you are receiving because the clinical trial is conducted in clinical hospitals. Okay, so a lot of patients are there, population is very large, near about 4,000, 5,000 patients are there. Okay, you are conducting trial on that. You are collecting data, okay, in the raw form, maybe obtained from the social media, consent form mostly. Okay, uh, so that data need to be managed, first collect it and manage it. That management is done by the clinical data management team in the form of ECRF, edit check, email, mobile notification, dashboard, reporting system, from data extract, medical coding is also involved. You all of you know medical coding nowadays is very popular because you have to data, data that you are getting from different side, different culture, different time zone, different physician, clinicians, various other factors lead to variation in your data that need to be managed. You have to standardize this data in the form of medical coding. So for that we use Medra. There are different uh, tools are there, okay, from that uh, tools we can uh, improve or we can uh, standardize your uh, data that Medra is called as medical dictionary for regulatory activities. It is FDA and UA mandate, okay, there's a regulatory agencies are there, FDA and European, EMA. They are made mandatory system for this AI data coding. It could be done automatically or manually or combination of both in order to, uh, we called as, uh, we called as, uh, Support system, okay. Look at this. Uh, this is being done as per the regulatory complaint system that is 21 CFR part ICH guideline that is good clinical practice. It is being okay. You have to follow all this, this good clinical practice, and it involves suppliers. Suppliers means all of you know, sponsor, it could be a pharma company or any other agency. Then CRO is there, like TCS, Cypharmix, uh, uh, all these CRO companies are there. That is called as clinical research organization. Then sponsors are there, okay. Supplier sponsor are nothing mostly the same, okay. Uh, then subject is miss, we call as a conducting trial. Oh, who you are conducting trials, okay. The person who is involved in the, that clinical trial, actual. So the ultimate objective is to get a hundred percent regulatory compliance. That is the ultimate goal of any clinical trial. Then how this clinical data management flow work, okay. So first you have to uh, you have to prepare a protocol. Okay, because whenever you are doing or conducting any clinical trial, you have to first make a protocol. That protocol need to be uh, prepared properly by that principal investigator. You have to design it properly. Then you have to make a CRF that is called as case report file. You have to design that file properly. Then you have to design the metadata. Okay, then the database design you have to uh, prepare. After that database, you have to validate this data. Okay, whether the database is properly made or not. So this is being done by the data manager. Then you have to collect the data from different source, then you have to enter the data in that particular software tools, then the data need to be properly synchronized, you have to review the data, whether data has been done, uh, data entry has been done properly or not, if something is missing, then you can clean it properly, you can add and you can correct it and the data is finally being locked in that database system, that is called as cloud based system, okay, then that data, transparent data, clean data has to be forwarded to the statistical analysis purpose. Here the SaaS manager play vital role that is called a statistical analysis manager. Now you might have heard this word SaaS manager, a SaaS system. Now here the SaaS work start. Then he has to make a report and uh, he, he, he suggests for the, uh, we can say for the fi final submission, whether we can go for the final submission or not. Okay, that's the report writing. 
so this is done as per the cgp that is we called as good that is gcp good clinical practice under schedule y okay as per cdsco we follow mostly cdsco central drug standard control organization under the dcgi okay uh, what the cdm platform enable a creation of ecrf now it is we use ecrf form that is electronic uh, called as uh, it is nothing but the case report form ecrf is the called as a uh, case report form then query management in the form of DCF that is data uh, clarification form. If something query is there in your uh, consent form and all that need to be submitted to that principal investigator and principal investigator is all that query again come to your da dashboard. Okay. Uh, then lab data management, integration with external sources because the sources are different. Okay. Global li liberty with repository ESR, uh, ECRF draft, enabling faster study setup, then medical coding, it, it cover the comprehensive functionality. Okay. By using Medro and who did he and synonym list these are the medical coding terms okay then multilingual capabilities also this platform provide the multilingual capabilities because we are performing the trial in australia european countries russia okay asian countries there are different languages are there this software must enable all these things okay then terminology management software uh, would be there also then data transfers that is the final ultimate goal so data should be transferred okay it has a consistency accuracy validity because ultimate objective is to the challenge is you have to make a you have to reduce the error zero percent error should be always zero percent this is the cdm process involved development stage data processing stage and closing stage then you have to transfer data to sas team okay then clinical data management team just now we discussed about that subject is there investigator is there central laboratories involved then you have to monitor it then data manager is there then that data managers collect data from uh, the, all these uh, clinicians and statistician okay he has to forward the data to statistician the statistician forward the data to uh, final data manager then you have to go with the nda and finally you have to get approval from a regulatory authority in india we have dcgi fda the other regulatory agency if you go to australia they have to follow tga there are different regulatory guidelines are there the final step is nothing but the to comply with the regulatory guidelines that is the ultimate objective of any system uh, the average number of discrepancy created during the course of phase 3 study is near about 3000 to 30000 the turn around time action discrepancy from time of generation is 2 to 3 days a single open discrepancy or database update can lead to database unlocked so that's why these database managers play vital role okay they have to review the data continuously lot of challenges are there for while collecting data so for that we can use so many uh, various software like eicd we have epro interactive response te uh, technology we use we can use electronic patient report outcome informed consent document we can use in all electronic format we can use we can reduce the time and cost also what is scope of this uh, cdm to collect validate and analyze the data that is the ultimate objective of any cdm manager you can design the tools for analyzing the data okay in different form uh, importance is uh, the vital vehicle in clinical trial to ensure the integrity quality of data being transferred from trial subject to database system it helped to provide a consistent accurate and valid clinical data it support accuracy of final conclusion and report because you all uh, you all of you know we are working for getting approval from regulatory compliance or regulatory guidelines or regulatory bodies so for that your data should be always transparent data integrity should be minimum that is the ultimate objective and goal of any uh, we call the cdm process a software we use SaaS, Office software, Open Clinica is most widely used, RedCap also we use, Study Tracks we use. There are the some software we be, we are using for as this CDM purpose. There's the interdependent groups in CDM, data cleaning is there, data programming are there, and statistics are there. These are the interconnected to this clinical data manager. A DM communications interface always uh, it has to connect with the site investigator, programmer, medical coder, then here pharmacovigilance officer that is called a safety analyst. Then data acquisitions team also need to uh, interface the study teams are there means they are the we call it as data manager has to communicate and interface okay with this uh, different uh, portfolios okay then uh, you have to manage the data data entry verification it could be in single fast or double fast in order to minimize the error in your data entry you have to resolve the di discrepancy okay that is very important then you have to review the data you have to ensure that data whatever you are uh, obtained it is properly uh, as uh, done as per the regulatory guidelines or not if discrepancy is there incorrect range is there many missing widget is there you can correct it and you can alter and you can fit it again and you can lock it later on there are different teams are involved in the clinical trials huh? that is pv team then cdm team it personnel trial pharmacist pharmacologist site coordinator and all these things and thank you finally i hope you must have understood about cdm process 
प्लीज विजिट माय यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू वंस अगेन